so welcome back everyone uh, i know it's been a while but um as i said before there wasn't really much content to really film but um i'll try to make a video here now so as you can see we see we just entered the young bird loft uh, these guys have been molting very hard uh, the pool of pigeons that we are we were able to race with uh, hasn't been the biggest so yeah uh, we haven't had too many races that went well um, yeah our best birds uh, like for example that gri that little uh, grizzle is one of the better ones um, starting to um, get the new feathers again so uh, and I believe one of the darker ones might be him no i don't think so but one of the darker ones was also pretty good um he's also starting to get his feathers back uh oh yeah that's him so yeah the pool will get a little bit bigger um as time goes on here um obviously haven't had the best results uh, me personally myself haven't been too involved this year uh, with pigeon with the young birds so that's also part of the reason why we're doing uh the way we're doing uh, but yeah i'll get back i'll get back into it uh, once the old birds uh, start up again and probably if i want to do like a solo i want to do like a solo um kind of series where i have my separate young bird loft so I can do whatever I want with them. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that next year. Uh, so yeah, things will be quite different next year. Uh, if the lofts are even still in this, this uh, same spot. But yeah, again, uh, not really the best young bird here. I did leave off um, last video with um, say I'm saying we're gonna cure against worms. Uh, so yeah, that's talk about how that went so we got the the worms medicine i gave it to every single loft uh, as many of you guys know uh, or let me know that um, once you enter a loft with worms it's easy to spread it yourself to the next one so yeah we just did uh, all the lofts and the young birds the top loft birds the breeders everything so it turns out only one bird on the breeding loft had it. Uh, let's go over there now. Didn't even know how that was possible myself, but turns out only one, only one did have worms. So, so this was the affected loft, as you guys uh, can tell. Yeah, that guy. Uh, was actually the affected bird you can tell his wing is shaking like that uh, he'll have to be he has to be killed soon i mean he did actually uh, breed not too bad of birds um one of the all black ravens is his um but yeah you'll have to be discarded and uh, these guys are molting quite heavily as well look at all the feathers but yeah, uh, this was the affected loft. The blackbird was the affected bird, uh, as he uh, also has some kind of other disease. But he's had it, he's had it for a while, um, so he was he was a little bit more weak. So we treated everything against worms, and only he, only his droppings were really uh, not really that bad, but had uh, quite a few worms in them. Uh, so yeah. Uh, my father said uh, when he usually used to cure against the worms uh, with my grandfather uh, back in the day, back in the 80s. Uh, there used to be piles of uh, droppings everywhere filled with worms. So we thought that was going to be the case as well uh, here, uh, but it turned out not to be the case. So that's kind of unfortunate. Would have made for a uh, good video, but you know, that's just not the case. So I also wanted to give you guys an update on the top loft birds as they are they are the ones performing uh, the best for us every single year. So let's go up here now.
Yeah, I wanted to show you guys the medicine which we cured them with, but we already uh, threw away the basket. But yeah, um, as you can tell, we just entered the top loft. Um, so, yeah, I don't know where I left these guys off, but obviously they didn't have their hands, their hands yet, and now they do. I believe we just paired them up uh, yesterday. So, um, you may ask why, but uh, I've, I have explained this before, uh, but I'll just explain it, explain it again. So, uh, the way our um, the way our racing season works in Belgium is, or for the speed races, um, is you fly the old birds at the beginning of the year. So that would be what we filmed uh, like during March and April, uh, or even a little bit uh, a little part of May. Um, that's what we filmed then. Uh, we that usually only consists of um, flying the cockbirds. Um, some people also fly uh, the hens, but then they don't fly their mate. Um, but yeah, we tend to only fly the cockbirds as it's on widow uh, widowhood, of course. Um, it's pretty hard to fly both hens and uh, cockbirds on widowhood. Although I have tried, uh, I have th thought about it, of doing it. But then, yeah, uh, obviously um, they start molting at that time. Then that's usually the time you begin to fly with the young birds. Um, and as the young birds start to molt and the young bird season starts to get to an end, uh, which is the longest part of the year, uh, I believe it's 12 or 16 weeks um, or something like that. These guys start up again, um, but now they stay paired up. So. Most people uh, fly them on nest, uh, as we do. So you can actually fly the cockbird and the hen at the same time, at the end of the year. So that's what we're, that's what this would be the start of. Um, so yeah, all these guys are gonna be have a, having a nest soon, or eggs or something. Uh, you can see we haven't added straw yet, so we'll add it in uh, the couple um, coming days. But yeah, let's, I, I would say let's hope to do better, but I, I, I already know that these guys are gonna do a lot better than the young birds. Um, these guys, for some reason, old birds tend to get into shape way better than uh, young birds do. So yeah, uh, it's a lot easier for us. Um, so yeah, anything else I wanna say? I don't think so. Uh, we'll, I'll probably be following these guys up um, and showing their races as I didn't film the Youngbird races but I, as I said there wasn't really a lot to film to be honest um, so yeah um, gonna end the video here you guys I hope you enjoyed this update stay tuned for the coming racing videos of these guys and yeah uh, have a good day